Speaking on behalf of Town Mayor Melba Shodongoro, Hobabis Municipality PRO Frederick Waitele stressed that the initiative is a testament to the excellent relations between the municipality, the National Housing Action Group, and the Shack Dwellers Federation. Waitele says the first phase of the installation process will cater for 130 dwellings. Having said that, direct ceremonies allow me to make use of this opportunity to call upon all community living in the informal settlements of Kobabes to cooperate with the municipality, the Sheikh Dwellers Federation and Namibia Housing Action Group in their programs which are aimed at formalizing the informal settlements in Kobabes. And in conclusion, congratulations to everybody who benefited from the water meters today and those communities that are not members of any saving groups Please join the saving groups. The National Housing Action Group says the aim is to bring services closer to more residents. Uh, it's a very important uh, milestone because uh, it serves the community to have services closer. And also, I think it, uh, the honorable councillors that are here, I think it's also a boost for them because uh, it will increase the revenue. Nobody will drink water, free water. On behalf of the beneficiaries, Marta Kongwe welcomed the initiative, saying it's long overdue. If yet ask it's well hey, look at Muspar and Han. You know if you want something you should save so that you can go buy it. But here you went all the way to get us this water meter so that we can have access to water. Omaheke Governor Pionga Nate described the initiative as a win-win deal. I'm very, very happy to be part of this initiative. It's commendable, it's beautiful. And when you look at the number of houses that have come up, it's also beautiful, it's commendable. It gives pride, and especially that these houses and the services are coming from ourselves, it gives us a sense of ownership. Both phases, two and three of the project, are set for completion before the end of November this year.